Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the man who solemnly swears he is up to no good, the one and only Gino DeVille. Good morning, world. It's that time again. I'm back. I wasn't here last week, but I'm back this week. And again, what a wonderful intro. The so I solemnly swear. I rarely um, sold them, but I always swear. <laughs> So there we go. Hey, now what you guys can't see at the moment, if anyone's there, is that I can see out of my corner of my little my little eye, I can see a certain person in a small, you know, a small host window at the top who's looking rather get down on the beach, yo man. So Jay, come on out, come on, let's see the world. Quick, turn down your shirt. Hello. Whoa. Mahala, Hey. I, I, I was hoping to get laid, but, you know, that wasn't going to happen. So it's the best wow. thing I got. <laughs> oh, hey. Wow. You can't say innuendos like that now. People will complain. <laughs> oh, but it's my flower. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm waiting for the frangipanis to bloom out in the garden. A few weeks, I'm going to come up with a frangipani lay just to show you that I'm on the level. <laughs> I tell you, I wonder though, I wonder with the world we're living in nowadays, doing that gag nowadays, you know, uh, oh, I want to get laid. Um, are you going to get complaints about it nowadays? Because these snowflakes oh, that are around, oh my goodness, it's unbelievable. Good grief. You know? I, I grew up with George Carlin and Monty Python and Richard yeah. Pryor and, oh my yeah. gosh, on the Sam Kinison and Andrew Dice Clay. Good oh, grief. Like it's like, <laughs> and, nice, come on, I was man. weaned on Tom Lear and he was this comedic guy in the 60s and he just told it like it was, an early kind of comedy musical guy. So nothing phases oh, yeah. me. <laughs> oh, no, we're, we're I mean, I'm, as a London boy, as a London boy, coming up, growing up through the late 60s, 70s, of course, in England, we had only fools and horses. Now, only fools and horses, actually speaking, on nowadays par is is considered the most racist thing in the world. But, but it is absolute classic British comedy. But anyway. It's unbelievable. The things that they had in that show, you could not say nowadays. Anyway, yeah. good morning, well, Jay. So much of it. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I just watch it. I remember I was at the world premiere of Monty Python's uh, The Life of Brian at the Chinese Theater. 
the world, I mean, my girlfriend at the time happened to be in the boot box office. So I got in there Good. and it was full, huge, huge theater full. And I'm yes. sort of sitting way in the back watching and I watched groups of people get offended and literally leave the theater. You can realize, oh, there go the Pentecostal Christians. Oh, there go. Oh, <laughs> and I tell you, even at that time, it, <laughs> I just, half of the fun was how funny the movie was, but the other half was watching groups of people walk off in disgust. Wow. Well, <laughs> We're not I the people's front of Judea. We're the Judean people's front. <laughs> <laughs> In the UK, when The Life of Brian came out, about six months, I think it was about six months after it premiered, they actually had the Archbishop of Canterbury, who's like in, you know, in... in, in he's the, the big guy, yeah, he's big cheese. He's big guy in the UK, <laughs> yeah. And they had John Cleese, Michael Palin and uh, one of the others. They had him on a chat show and they was, it was a basically uh, the, the church versus Monty Python and Monty Python guys just turn around and to be fair okay depending on what side of the fence you were you can see which argument side you stand by but to me comedy just ruled because what? it was literally everything that the church was saying they're just replying but it's comedy. It's harmless. It's a it's farce. Comedy. If you don't it's understand what a farce is, you're not going to... Yeah. And the point was, is they made fun of everyone equally, even themselves. I mean, they, they were taking the piss out of themselves as much as anyone. So How everyone who's offended, I'm going, what are you missing? The whole thing's a joke. I mean... <laughs> Uh, unbelievable. Anyway, unbelievable. Anyway, that, you have well, come back from an amazing, you just got back from this incredible magic festival. Uh, we got lots and lots of stuff on the show today. So woo, woo, woo. I, I, I think I'll, uh, I think, I think uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have a chit about that later. A little chit chat about yeah. the gig I've just been on later. But amazing is not necessarily a word I would use on this one. But hey, <laughs> uh, you know, as an, as an old pro, as you well know as well, both of us, you, you, you go, you do, you take the check and you go home um and yeah. sometimes it's better than other times but hey what a show we've got today i mean we've we've just totally gone off topic for the first 10 Ooh. minutes so uh, anybody is watching and going hang on a minute are you guys going to actually talk about any magic uh yes <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> so sorry about that yeah um well, okay, let's, so let's begin. We've got a crazy show today. We are going to be talking, the main feature of today's show is talking about a brand new product that we are releasing tomorrow from the Shirtmeister himself, who's just uh, gone into the background there, J. Scott Berry's a new mega download called Coincentric. This is basically uh, a new definitive work on modern coin sleight of hand magic. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, Later in the show, we will be doing a world premiere of Quintet, a uh, routine off the download, Coincentric. Uh, the actual download itself will be launched tomorrow morning. We're just sort of like dotting I's and crossing T's, as it were, to get everything ready. Uh, if you are a DeVille Magic um, newsletter subscriber check your mailbox tomorrow morning around uh, well about 9 a.m china time so uh, well china time right now for me is 10 a.m so about an hour before my whatever time in the world you are go back an hour um check your mailbox because there will be a mail shot with a nice uh, a nice discount coupon oh did i tell you what's going to be in it a discount coupon well, that means that if you're not a registered member, you should be after the show now, head over to devilmagic.net and uh, subscribe. And then you do can receive set discount tomorrow morning. Wow. Um, so that's coming up. Before we really get in and talk about more about Coincentric, I'm going to just have a little bit of a chit about the OMC. So, Jay, can I... Uh, can I invite you back to the stage again? Because I have questions, sir. Uh, hello. I have answers. <laughs> well, so the, the OMC, the original magic contest. Be serious. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm the one that's supposed to cause the trouble. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, <laughs> yes, it's all going pear shaped here. So the OMC has been running for a week now, and we've got a whole pile of entries. Um, Amazing, would, as a, some really as a extraordinary judge, stuff. I'm like, what wow, the heck? Totally, yeah. totally. Uh, I would like to, I would like to hold my hands up in uh, in defence and uh, and say to you, as one of our superstar judges, I do apologise for the Australian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a world citizen, so I don't, I can't, I don't take responsibility for any nationalities. No, well, Everyone's um, crazy in their own I, way. I say because I know that he happens to be the only Australian passport holder that I've entered. Uh, a very, very dear friend of mine by the name of Brett Peter. He is a Byron Bay local. He is a surf champion, a snowboard champion. But in his day, before he got older, he was actually one of the greatest big hype big hype money show street performers on the circuit used to do this crazy high juggle acrobatic show i mean wow. as extreme as they come i mean he was one of those humongous circle show guys and we met oh goodness knows how many years ago he's one of my dearest friends well brett is a wacky wacky character and he's the guy that's put two videos up which is just ridiculous i mean well one yeah. of them with a lighter taking the flame yeah. and throwing it back on again and everybody's making comments about it just to clarify i've left them there because he's one of my dearest friends but it's not a genuine don't judge it <laughs> well but that's a throwback to what we were just talking about there's certain points you just gotta say look it's a joke it's uh, a yes. joke yes yeah you know, there's uh, things that go up on the magicians only page that i'm as you know i'm, a, I'm a, an admin on and yes. sometimes i think they're hilarious but i get all these people complaining every time someone goes i don't like that i'm gonna complain to the enemy <laughs> i get woken up by all these messages and i look over and i'm thinking this is hilarious it's a joke <laughs> and then, well, then i'm obligated to take it down because you know oh you hurt my feelings you I, <laughs> so you you're damned if you do you damned if you don't you know yeah. so yeah I, i'm with you leave it up let them have fun <laughs> yeah well actually brett messaged me as soon as he put him up and start people started commenting and uh you know uh, he's messaged me he says uh, you can take it down if you want you know me and i said no dude i do know you and i'm leaving it up because actually speaking they his videos have had more comments and likes than anyone else's and they're not even genuine uh, genuine but um, isn't uh, that that to me is always the bizarre thing you know yes. it's these controversial you know on the magicians only page someone will come in and say something really controversial and boom at the flames and this and that and anger and this and that oh. but someone comes in and says something really serious and significant about the art of magic and it's like crickets yes and it's uh, and well the one thing that annoys me with these yeah the one thing that annoys <laughs> me with these facebook groups and pages is the bump ability you know like yeah. you say somebody goes and writes something ridiculous someone comments on it what happens the comment it bumps flames, the exactly it's the bump, yeah so the important stuff just gets <laughs> squished down into the into the delms of oblivion um and yeah, yeah kind of <laughs> what the me. delms what was that the delms of oblivion Del delves of oblivion that's a word <laughs> i like that isn't, isn't it sort is of that like where you performed you know? this last week was that the yeah. last that was your place that was it was the festival well, at the delves of oblivion <laughs> I wish it, was, it was certainly the oblivion of something because it wasn't the delves. It was the uh, the the you know the what's an, what would what would be the opposite of the delves? The uh, I don't know. I don't, the, you gotta, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we're drifting again, right? Okay, so, as we do best. If you are wondering and wondering what on earth are they talking about the OMC? Well, the OMC is a competition that Deville Magic is running. Uh, we have three superstar judges, a massive, amazing prize package for the winner. It's a winner take all. And uh, we're just going to run the um, the introduction video for you now, if you don't know what it's all about. Um, and then basically, it's, it's very, very simple. You upload a video of a trick or an effect or what anything you like, uh, less than two and a half minutes long to the OMC Facebook group. And uh, yeah, 
and everyone has an equal chance of winning. The OMC stands for the Original Magic Contest. So people will get marked way higher for something that is original. That's the whole purpose of it. We want to push the art of magic forward and make sure that people are creating something rather than the old adage of just buying a trick off the shelf, reading the instructions, watching the video instructions, and then performing it the way that the creator has done it. That happens too much in magic and it annoys me a little bit because it takes away creativity. But here we go. This is the OMC introduction video. I, I like the is, part at the end when it says, what have you got to lose? I mean, besides your mind, because we've already lost that. <laughs> well, absolutely. Look at it. You see, I, tell you, I think it's that shirt that's throwing yours out today. Off he goes again. It's going to be one of those shows today, isn't it, really? We're not going to get anything done. It's always one of those shows, do you know? You, well, you, you bring perfect. out the madman in me, you know? What can I say? Ooh. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so closing the door on the OMC, the OMC original magic contest, share your 2.5 or less magic video through to the OMC Facebook group before the 20th of December 2021. And you are in the bucket for the chance of winning. Wow. An amazing. Just very, very quickly. The uh, the prize list winner takes all. So one winner will take everything. So what do we got? 200 US dollars worth of downloads from Deville Magic. You've got five hours of one-to-one -one mentoring with a FISM world champion by the name of JSB. And hopefully he won't be wearing that shirt because it will just throw everything away from Magic. Um, <laughs> One of the other superstar judges is a, South, a young South African by the name of Vian. Um, he is one of the young breed uh, social media superstars. He is uh, in the top 100 of TikTokers in the world. Uh, he's got million, a million. Uh, I'll start with the note, small number first. He's got a million Instagram followers. <laughs> a million. 15, 15 million TikTok, 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 TikTok followers. Yeah, Those yeah. Are, that's for the, the uh, bad breath. Yeah. <laughs> the TikTok he, followers. He is just like absolutely storming the social media world. And he has very graciously, one of the, for the prize winner, for the winning video, he will follow the user 
and he will share the winning video right across his social media platform. Yeah. So that's epic. Nowadays, that that, it, it, that alone. Yeah, that that's <laughs> forget everything else. You know, that five hours with Jay Scott Berry. Yeah, whatever. Get, get the 50. <laughs> I, I, Let's be I real. Say, I hate to say, I'm going to say, no, don't be silly. But yes, but yes. I know. Oh, absolutely. In 20, and look, 21, I'm going to jump in. I'm going yeah. to say something. I'm just going to jump in because even if you're not entering the competition, just go to the page and look. There is so much stuff up there already. Yes. You were already having to go, oh, man, what? how is the criteria to judge? You know, If there's six or seven, you go, easy. But if there's 60, 70, 80 really good videos, which oh, yeah. there, it's, it's heading that direction. It so really even for is. fun, inspiration, it's it's muggle friendly like this. So yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. If, you go, if you love magic, you got to go see these. And this Absolutely. is all original. That's the beauty. These are people creating Absolutely. real stuff. Sean, Sean McCree uh, gave a, you know, it's not even just made. He he posted a real nice routine uh, that I think from a, 20 years ago or something. But it was yeah, a, it, it followed, it, 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 it was all the perfectly within oh. the criteria and yeah, very creative, Hopefully. very original routines. Yeah, I mean, it really is. It's it's certainly bringing out the creativity. I mean, I'm not going to mention names because I don't want to influence you as one of the judges. But there's a couple of people that are are posting a few different and a, a few different video entries uh, from the same user. And wow, the creativity yeah. that's coming out there. It's just it's just crazy. It's awesome. Yeah. But. Yeah. That's not only, so we've got VN, the social media sharing across the platform to more than 15, 16 million people. But that's not even the end of it. We've got the groovy uh, English magicians by the name of Ari Phillips. And we've got the uh, groovy uh, magician legend, street performing legend by the name of Gary Animal Knights. Now, Ari in London has recently started a very high-end exclusive leather craft business uh, making magic leather craft goods and he has very kindly donating from Grum Leather Crafts he is donating a handmade magical product now Gary Animal he's a very old old dear friend of mine I've known him for years and years and years Gary you may know Gary Animal from his street performing career when he started making the street cups. He was turning out the Gazzo cups, the street devils, basically the world's most sought after cups and balls cups. Well, he hasn't made them in years. He sold the, sold the rights to ring and things, um, but he still manufactures certain props and they are incredible, gorgeous. And as a dear friend, he has very kindly agreed to donate a handcrafted magical goodie from Gary Knights. Uh, I know what it is, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful, absolutely wonderful. So that prize package is awesome. Now, the competition is absolutely free to enter. All you have to do is head over to the Facebook group of the OMC upload your video or share your video to it and that's it so what have you got to lose make sure it's two and a half minutes or less and that is it 20th of december is the cutoff date the winner will be announced on the 1st of january 2022 and uh, then the winner will get all those goodies sent out so it's going to be awesome right so closing woo, the door woo, on woo, the woo, omc woo. Um, where should we go now? Now, today, today is the official launch of, drum roll please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two ride symbols there. Excuse me, take it back a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another epic download is on its way from the one and only JSB. Yes, tomorrow morning. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> tomorrow morning, we will be officially launching a new downloadable product by the name of Coin Centric. Now, Coin Centric. Hey, Jay, in your most seriousness, because we're, you know, we're being serious for a moment. Tell us all about it, man. Wow. This all started, like, look, like the Get Real. This is in really condensing 40 years of experience and real world performance and all of that into this compact uh, 
definitive as you 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 know this idea of it. it I think you say it better than I do. Actually, I just make the stuff. Uh, but it takes the the new routine quintet, which we'll be watching. You'll be rolling that fairly soon. And it expands way up on that. And just that routine alone was one of the hits from the new lecture. And that's what got it going. There was a lot of demand to say, well, can you put that on a download? And something happened on the way, which it turned into this mega production. It's epic uh, series. Well, this would now be the first of three volumes. And I really like again, like with the reels, I saw this whole area of magic that was being generally overlooked and modern stand up manipulative coin magic. There are very few who have taken that on. And just yeah. like everything I do, I'll say, all right, I'm going to zero in on this, put all of my uh, personal experience, but then try to put it into a practical system training and build that foundation of sleight of hand skills. And yeah, yeah I mean, it's, you see, it, it's, it's so real. It is so true. It's, it's weird because in the most recent years, OK, in the past, especially before the Internet, before YouTube, there were certain publications which then, of course, got transferred into video form and they were classed as the Bible on certain areas of magic. Now, of course, with cards, you've got, you know, Royal Road uh, with coins. Of course, you had Bobo's. And with silks, you've got rices. And so there was, you know, certain certain blocks of which were the the Bibles of that kind of thing. That seems to be lost now because it's almost with the, 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 the social media, with the YouTube and stuff. There's so many people out there who, excuse my fingers, who are trying to be a teacher, um, but actually have no business being a teacher, um, it's like the world at the moment. You've got young, like young Asian FISM winner by the name of Eric Chen. Now, Eric Chen, absolutely, arguably, arguably has the greatest retention vanish in the world. His pop vanish he created is incredible, but he uses it in routines in his shows now. What seems to have happened is the world has gone a little bit crazy on watching people like him, uh, uh, Shin Lim with his card stuff, and focusing so heavy on a singular move and forgetting the fact that we are, as magicians, we are performing, we are entertaining. And so much in most recent years has been just literally single close up single move hand coin sitting down well this whole business is, f is forgetting stand up coin magic right and, and it's table mag exactly stuff on the tables and matrix and these things yes, where yes. you're sitting down at the table and you're doing and look oh. for me there's nothing wrong with that but as you say we've no. we sort of lost this whole ex section of the art of magic it was like hold yes. on we really this is so due for a renovation and a, a renaissance. And that's really, I mean, if I had to use a single word, is it, I'm try, try, trying to set off a renaissance in stand up coin magic. Uh, well, that's absolutely. pure sleight of hand. Uh, we're Indeed. not talking, you know, there's no gimmicks, there's no gimmick Indeed. coins. And that's Indeed. another thing that's come real common. You can walk into a magic store, you know, spend your $20, buy a gimmick coin, and haha, -ha, now you're a master magician. Yes. Well, hold on a minute. <laughs> It, yeah. it, it's about building the foundation, you know, exactly. there's, there's a great line. There's a great line in the movie um, um, Braveheart where he's he's just met his uncle as a kid and he wants to learn how to use the sword. And the uncle goes first, learn to use this. Then yeah. I'll teach you to learn to use this. Absolutely. And that's my thinking on this is for this is about really understanding this broad scope and the pure yes. skill. And then when we pick up, you know, then you can pick up a gimmick and do miracles with it. As opposed to if you just walk in and buy a Svengali deck, you're going to look like you got a Svengali deck. But a master oh, card exactly. magician can turn yeah. it into a mind-blowing effect. And that's now, really the core structure here. This is exactly my point when I was saying before about there's too many people now with the with the way of, you know, anyone with a cell phone can basically create pretty much high end content. But 
the content they're creating, they should not be. There's too many people who are trying to teach. And like you say, there is no core foundation. There is no basics. They should not be teaching this because all they're basically doing is teaching one move, but they're not even teaching what to do with that move. And so you've got people wandering around with a coin in their hand, having really no idea what to do with it. And this is the foundation of this, this, this download is taking things back to where it should be. It's teaching course structure as well as the, I mean, I, I don't want to give too much away and saying what's on the download. <laughs> well, we are to a muggle friendly audience. So we have to, we're, we're yes. skirting the line. Exactly. We of, have to skirt the line just a little bit. Yeah. yeah so but it, 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 the true, again, that peak performance press the digitation. Now, I'll just add on to what you were saying while you have a quick drink. What yeah. I've seen is now even the magicians are so conditioned to expect a single move. You'll know that one, you know, yeah. someone will put up, as you say, a, a single move and boom, all of a sudden it gets a, you know, 100 likes and 100 shares. But you put a complex routine together that has a dozen or more mind blowing moves that are far more difficult, far more complex to create the structure. And the attention span isn't there. People are like, oh, but you lost me after 30 seconds. You're going, yes. whoa, dude, man, what would you do watching Channing or Richard Ross or any of these others there? You know, if you can't follow a three minute solid magic performance routine, how are you going to create one? And if you aren't going to create one, how are you ever going to perform in the real world? I mean, this is what it comes Magic down Castle, to. Magic Castle, all the places, every performance venue in the world and magic, you got to go in with yeah. solid routine structures that you say, man, I've got this killer three, four minute routine. I've got this one, Magic Castle, Magic, wherever you are, you've got to have this arsenal of not only the skill, the experience, but these just killer routines. And that's what this is teaching. Now, you see, this is this is the problem of nowadays because people are learning things and they're learning the wrong way. And when it comes down, so they've so OK, so they've they put the time in, they've got the chops for one killer move, but they have no idea what to do with that move. And then suddenly they want to go and do a excuse the fingers again. I'm doing that a lot today. A a show. show. Yeah. And they've got no <laughs> I'm with you. Clue. No. Clue. Oh, but then they're going to get on the Facebook groups while we're ranting. Then they'll get on the Facebook groups and say, so I have a show to do this weekend. What's the best tricks I should be doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the best one, the best one I've seen. No, you should have bought one of my downloads six months ago and been practicing. <laughs> It's, uh, it's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. And this is the problem. This is yeah. the, 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 the problem. You know, what but we are the solution. Well, we, yeah. DeVille Magic and Academy of Lutheran, we are the solution. <laughs> well, that's what we're, we're aiming to be. We're aiming to be because the problem is, yes, nowadays, online audiences, they have a different attention span. I mean, routines that I used to do, even live, routines that I used to do where I would have this very long labored monologue story about, you know, uh, I, I won't I won't go into one per se, but the general gist of it, a lot of magicians would use, oh, my uncle or my father taught me, blah, blah, blah. And it would be a long story. These routines, you do have to condense them nowadays for modern audiences, but that's just a question of moving with the times. However, it's more understanding when you need to condense and when you can stretch and what have you. And that just comes from having foundation of, you know, and basically the experience of doing it. Nowadays, you've got people who have no idea and they're going, right, okay, I've got a move. There's my move, job done. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So it's crazy. <laughs> Mental. Well, in this case, again, you talk of it's the experience of not only performing, teaching, but learning from others. I mean, I'm drawing upon all the way back to to T. Nelson Downs, the original king of coins. I mean, I I spent some time in Ken Klosterman's uh, uh, collection and got to take and play with the T. Nelson Downs coins, uh, look at some of his actual material. So I really had a connection with that. But also Di Vernon, of course, we're pulling on the concepts of Di Vernon, concepts of Slidini. So many who initially laid these classic foundations for sleight of hand. Yeah, absolutely. And then and building. The, the point is we're building on that. You say, all yeah. right, let's build. And now we're going to give this renaissance to this whole aspect of the art. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, excusing using one of those weird metaphors that you see nowadays, Without the foundation, a building will fall over. Uh, how, 
Yeah, and it oh, does. We see that all the time. I mean, oh, it's totally, it's, like, totally. it, it's like it's like learning to play one song, but then say, well, we need you to do a concert, but you can't even play your music scales. You say all you learn how to do is play the kazoo and go, and they say, well, that's funny for two minutes. What else you got? You know. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a very nice kazoo here. It's in I'm my sure house. you do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've drifted again. Right, so listen, yes. for anyone watching that's kind of Have going, we got the video? Well, have we got the video? We do, but before we run the video, oh. okay, I need everyone to grab it, whoever's watching out there. If you remember, when we launched Get Real a couple of weeks ago, we did a little quiz, and the winner of said quiz won a free copy of Get Real. Ooh. Well, I believe that was John Johnson. John Johnson, you right. a little devil, you. You won the free copy of Get Real. Well, we're going to do the same thing again with Coincentrix, a totally different quiz of of course so what you do need is a pencil and a pen or some way of writing something down um, we're gonna squeeze it in because we've rabbited on so much and gone off topic so much today that I'm going to throw the questions in two at a time but listen very very carefully this is how the quiz works and the first person when I say at the end to write the answer into the comments will receive a free copy of the new J. Scott Berry download, Coin Centric. This is how it works. There are four questions. I'm going to give you two questions now. Write the answers down, but do not post the answers. If you post the answers, you are helping someone else because that is not how you win this quiz. So here we go. Question number one, write this down. Do not post it. Many consider the Bible of modern coin magic to be called what? The name of that book is the answer to question number one. Do not post it. Write it down and get ready. Okay. Question number two. Now, all these questions, the four questions, they are all magic related, but they're all very basic magic related. So uh, without, being, uh, without being evil and snide, uh, if you don't know the answer to any of these questions, you should. <laughs> if you study the art of magic, you should know the answer to these questions. Right. Question number two. What is considered to be the greatest rising card version? There is one name, one brand of rising card that just rises above the rest. So what is considered the greatest rising card version? Write that name down. Do not post it. Right. So that is the first two questions of four and the winner will receive a copy of the brand new download Coincentric and I think it's time now. Jay, would you like to introduce it or shall I introduce it? Because this is the world premiere and I'm excited. I am excited. Oh, come on, just real quick. Uh, yeah, jump on real quick. Give me one second. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I will let you introduce it. You're doing much better than I am. and I'm just way too bright today, wild and but yeah, this is what I did yesterday. There was an earlier version. Now, this is just to show this relentless pursuit of excellence that yesterday on Illusioneering, I had filmed, you know, you do all the things, you get the film right, you look at it, you edit it up. And it was it was what I would say, all right, we're putting that up for the preview yesterday. But I, the more I thought about it, I thought, no, no, I can do better. You know, and I was like, and part of it was expression. I mean, I thought, you know, I, after you sort of, you know, you're... I think the most difficult thing that I'm learning is in an empty studio, in an empty house, no one around to act and to no one. In this case, I know we're at least interacting, but to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to give all this charisma and energy to a dead camera, but knowing full well that has to transmit out. But yeah. then I also changed the car. I thought, all right, let me change up the jacket. Let me change the scarf color. And it was this beautiful, all of a sudden, I just thought, okay, now this was it. We dumped the other one, nothing wrong with it per se, but it's that I think it can be better. So even at whatever level 
it's that idea no matter where you are it's not about being on the ladder it's where you are you're reaching for that next rung and this was the perfect example so i went back to the drawing board reshot the whole thing a number of times got a real clean performance of it and that's here we go there's the world premiere of this right now well, I, I, I tell you, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. And the, the weird thing is, it's so strange because, and I wish that you saw this in other people's videos. People nowadays will film a video and they'll, they'll just post it straight out there to the world. And you can see that there are certain obvious flaws with it. Now, the quintet yesterday, when we talked about it, there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. However, I know where your brain went and you changed. I mean, just for example, you changed from a blue silk to a red silk. And that dynamic, it, just that tiny little dynamic lifted it even higher. It, it was, it's the tiniest little, the little details. And I, I saw that myself. Within the first five seconds, I went, ooh. Ooh, yeah. yeah, right. And and I mean, I, I went to the blue thinking, oh, this will be cool. I'll try it out. And then I realized looking later going, mm, no, there, something about the coin that needed the red. And yeah, so that was uh, yeah. it justified sort of that re reshoot. Totally, totally. But anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, muggles and magicians alike around the world, it gives me the utmost pleasure and privilege to announce the world premiere of one of the routines of the new Coin Mastery download, Coincentric. Here is Quintet.
<laughs> wow! Now, I've got to say, I've got to say, because we were doing the world premiere of this today, after the change yesterday, I actually didn't watch, I didn't want to watch all of it. I wanted to watch the whole thing myself for the first time now. So I'd actually only seen the first 10 seconds. Wow, Jay, that's absolutely awesome. Now, I, I, I want to, wow. Okay, everyone else, if you can just turn off now, because I want to have a magic talk. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll talk later. Wow, there's so many magical things I want to say about this. Wow, that, that is absolutely beautiful. Now, what I, what I will say is that that, of course, the quintet is a J. Scott Berry routine. Now, this is the beautiful thing is about the coin centric is that you will get to learn that entire routine. But the methodology and the thinking behind the whole coin centric is, yes, you learn the techniques behind that. You learn the structure, but then you have the knowledge and the armory to start creating your own routines. And this yeah. is the whole beauty of this. It, this is giving you the foundations, the core to create your own stuff. It's awesome. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, the basic training session in, in, in before you even get on this this download, before you even get to the effects, this intensive basic training in and of itself is a master class on you know a minute to learn, a lifetime to master techniques. Mm. You know, so yeah, yeah, you don't find this sort of stuff on YouTube. I can tell you that because <laughs> most wow, people can't that, do it. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. <laughs> Jay, Jay, uh, if I had a hat on, I would take my hat off. So I don't, I'd take my hair off. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> that freaks me out when you do that. I, <laughs> yeah. Right. So anyway, okay. moving on because time is flying through. So that is just a sneak peek. That is the world premiere of Quintet. One of the performance videos on the Coincentric uh, download, which will be available from devillemagic.net tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. China time. Now, if you would like to grab yourself a copy of that, there are a couple of ways that you can do yourself a favor. Number one way, if you are not already on the devillemagic.net mailing list, head over there now to the website of devillemagic.net and subscribe to the mailing list. Tomorrow morning you will receive uh, this week's mail shot and you will get a 25% discount coupon. It's as simple as that, but you've got to be on the mailing list to get it. If you would like to the chance of winning a free copy, who doesn't like free? Woo. Then right now we're going to do the next two uh, questions, if you will, in today's competition. And the first person to post the answer at the end will receive a free gratis copy. Right. So I will run the first two questions again. Do not post the answers because the answers to questions is not the answer to the quiz. So. Question number one, many consider the Bible of modern coin magic to be called what? Write that answer down, do not post it. Question number two, what is considered to be the greatest rising card version? There is only one that's just considered to be high above all the rest. Write that down. Do not post it. OK, question number three. A famous British magician whose performing surname was Bongo. What was his Christian name? Write it down. Do not post it. Do not post it. Once again, question number three. A famous British magician whose performing surname was Bongo. What was his Christian name? Write it down, do not post it. And question number four. The J. Scott Berry download that we are launching today is about which kind of magic? The J. Scott Berry 
download we are launching today is about which kind of magic, which category, which branch of magic is the download that we are rabbiting on about today. What is that category of magic? Do not post it, the answer. Now, relatively four very relatively simple questions. To be the first one to post and receive the free copy of Coincentric, here is what you need to do. You have four words, or you should have four words in front of you. You should have four answers. Listen carefully. Take the first letter of each name. Rearrange it into something very, very simple and post that. That is the answer. You have four letters, rearrange them into something very, very simple. And believe me, if you don't get it, you're going to go, oh, post that answer. The first person to post that answer wins a free copy. I see Jay there in the little screen. He's uh, monitoring the keyboard now. Do we have anybody yet? Are you there, Jay? Are you there? Are yes, you I am here. I'm watching the screen. Wow. I'm watching the screen. Now, yeah. now remember. We, you and I did not, did not uh, confer on this leading up. Um, so I, I feel like I know the answer, but I'm a bit uh, sort of in the same. I don't know what you're thinking of officially the answer. If you want to give me a quick text before I exit, because I'm looking at it, I'm watching. I'm watching going, oh, yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't want to give the prize to someone unless it's the answer you're thinking of. Oh, right. OK. Well, See, well so why I don't you say... text me on the Zoom chat? You give me a quick text on the Zoom chat because uh, we okay. have answers coming up. All right. I really. OK. This is a point, actually. We didn't do that, did we? You um, didn't. Yeah. Like, uh, to... I, mean, I, I know all the answers, how the words you how you're putting them together in your strange and twisted mind. I, I can't guarantee people. Well. <laughs> OK, I think I'm hoping that this comes directly to you and you alone, because I've never used the Zoom chat before. But here we go. Ah, interesting. OK. Do, 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 um, do. I, I'm seeing four letters. Yeah. And that is it uh -huh. now. This particular quiz, okay, I've created it because obviously most people are watching our magicians. Oh, okay, hold on. No, no, okay, I think we need to clarify one thing because when you said to me, William Wallace, oh, <laughs> when you said to me, Ali Bongo, oops, I was thinking you meant his real name. I think what you're asking no, for no, no, is... No. Performing name, I said, I said his performing surname name, is Bongo. Surname is Bongo, and you asked what, what is, so you're asking what the, the big, first name of that... Yes, I said that right. See, that's where I wasn't sure. Okay, all right. So to be clear, clear on that, and I'll, I'll sort of give the the hint because his real name, which I misunderstood, his was William Wallace. And that's not Absolutely. the that's not the letter you're looking for. Ooh. So that kind of clarifies it for me as well. Um, Sorry, I should have said his performing Christian name as well as his first. Yeah, da, 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 yeah. That, that was why. Uh, yeah. uh, so nobody has it yet. Now, okay. uh, we may give a hint, but I tell you, what, why don't we leave that with them for a second? Go on to yeah, the next yeah, section. Exactly. We got a few more. I know you have a few more things lined up to talk indeed, about and indeed. we will. So Get this sorted. What I will say, what I will say about the quiz is, don't overthink it. This is the thing about this quiz is incredibly simple. If you and the answer isn't the word. No, the answer no, is no, not no. a word. That's my hint. Once again, it's not like a set. Again, yeah. Once again, <laughs> when you've got your four letters, rearrange them into something incredibly simple. A logical. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Gotcha. That's it. We're watching it. it. Don't overthink it. Right. So now we'll move along. Um, yeah. So for those of you that are wondering, where was I last week? Well, actually speaking, where I was- Where were you last week? I'm we missed you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I was up in the north of China, where right now it's got bloody freezing, I tell you, in a place called Qingdao. And uh, it, was a, uh, it was a sort of a, a comedy slash magic festival in a shopping center. Now, 
For anyone that's a, you know, a, a pro that basically earns a living performing magic, well, you know after a few years' time the ego doesn't come into it anymore, uh, the kind of gig you do doesn't come into it anymore, it's basically all about just you know, paying your bills at the end of the month then you're successful in show business doing what we love. And some gigs are better than others. I mean, you know, I have a headline tour over here. I've had a number of TV shows around the world. Uh, so I've had uh, what you class in society as celebrity status. However, you keep working and some are way higher than others as far as that. Now, this gig that I've just done, I was doing four 15 minute, basically little uh, pop up street style shows in a very big shopping centre in Qingdao. Um, the organisers had not thought it through in any way. Um, one of my shows was up on the fourth floor, which is the food court area. Now, the food court area in this shopping centre gets really busy after 8 o'clock at night. And uh, they put my show up there at 4.30 in the afternoon, which is the most dead time anywhere. I managed to stop on one of the shows. I managed to stop a couple of young university girls, and basically, I I did the show for them, uh, and the rest of the people were waitresses and waiters from the restaurants. Uh, one of them very kindly she videoed the whole thing and then put a little montage together. She put on Chinese social media, and then she found me on social media and sent it to me. So I'm going to play that now. It's a minute and a half long of a show proving that it doesn't matter how high you rise in the magic world, in the entertainment world, you know, it's all about keeping working, doing the gig and staying humble about it. Because sometimes it's just, well, <laughs> it's just take the money and run. So here we go. This is a minute and a half of my uh, experience over the last few days at a festival. And there it is, a minute and a half of absolutely no one, literally six people, <laughs> including <laughs> the, uh, the waiters and waitresses. Is, uh... <laughs> Oh, oh Gino! Sorry. Now uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to jump in. You and I were obviously chatting to some degree. Well, you let me know you were there. We were having business talks and fun talks personally while you were off on this adventure. But when you told me you, they stationed you in a food court and you, that was it, you sort of were on your own. I had flashbacks from times when I've been in that same situation. You're like looking, going, "Okay, I'm supposed to be up at third level over here." And then you realize all you have to do is a street show. You basically stand up, you know, bang the pots. Hey, here we go. And you gather your own crowd. So as yeah. you say, this professional experience, whether it's the Las Vegas stage or the, you know, the, the mall food court, it's all about the experience we give. But the people, the, oh, you yes. know, the, you're, it's the same thing. It's amaze, amuse, inspire. I always remember, it's like no matter what, our job, yeah. our responsibility, amaze, amuse, inspire. Even if there's three or four people, guess what? They just post it on social media. I like that part where you turn sideways to do the rope. That was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah, a bit weird that was. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't know. I guess. But come on, you had more exposure by that probably already on Chinese social media than some people get their whole lives. So, yeah. Well, oddly enough, the, the girl who videoed all of that, she videoed the whole show, then edited it afterwards. And obviously, uh, that bit with the rope, she'd gone panoramic as opposed to that. So yeah. it suddenly, whoop, like that very well. Whoop. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going to slide off the screen. I was waiting for <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, she posted it on her social media. It's actually had over oh, about 200,000 views on her social media. So <laughs> it, insane, it, absolutely insane. So, but it's just crazy because this is the yeah, thing. I, I mean, it. one minute you're on the greatest stage and you've got the beautiful dressing rooms and, you know, the thousand green M&Ms in a glass. And then the next <laughs> thing you're standing outside a restaurant uh, with that sort of thing. But like you say, one person to 10,000 people, it doesn't matter. You give the same energy, you perform your best to them because uh, a little, little story. When I first started out years and years ago, I came off the street and I was going into theater. In my first year in the theater, I, uh, I, I made a huge mistake. I don't tell many people this and uh, I'm not even sure why I'm saying it on, on a camera that will be there forever. Um, it was in my very, very early days and uh, I was, uh, you know, coming off the street. Now I'm in theatre. My ego was running rampant. Um, you know, I thought, hey, look at me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we, I was doing a tour with some people around provisional theatres in the UK. And one day the producers came in and said, oh, we're doing a Saturday morning show as well as the matinee and the evening show. So we're doing three shows in a day. So the morning show, we're going to cut shorter. Um, but the, I noticed that the people were still paying the same ticket price. Um, well, actually, I, I stood up for my my rights and said no i think this is wrong i think we should give the same show to those people i didn't know about turnaround time and this and that and the other and you know people needed breaks and this is a standard thing and you have to run with this and i kicked up a huge fuss about it and anyway i i was pretty much ostracized by the production company and the rest of the cast for the rest of this tour and then i never worked for these promoters again and uh, yeah i mean i made a right right pig's ear out of it so what I learned from this is that at the end of the day, you know, there's always a boss and the boss dictates what you do and you remain smiling and you perform your absolute best, whether it's one person, 100 people, whatever. But remember, like I say, this gig I went to now, they put me in a food court at 4.30 in the afternoon when I know full well that it doesn't get busy until 8. Not my problem. Okay, you right. want it, not a problem. There's a reason yep. that they're doing it. If it's stupid, after the second day, they're all turning around saying, why do we put him there that time? Not my problem. Uh, smile, yeah. sure, whatever you want. And I give it 100% and then I've done my job the best I can. And, yep, absolutely. So. <laughs> Good work ethic. And I agree, so, a similar thing. You know, you make the mistakes when you're young and you realize, you know, maybe I didn't see the big picture. Absolutely. And then as producer, because again, both of, you and I have both played both sides that, you know, we've oh, yeah. been the producer, the one who had to take the heat, had to, the buck stops with us. And then the yeah. other times, we're simply the hired gun. And I've That's really learned when to know I'm the hired gun. Yes, sir. You want me over there? No worries. I'm going to go over in this corner and do my best. If I'm the producer, I'm the one telling everyone to go in the corners and do their best. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. All well, good, man. Yeah, so now, so I understand from our little, uh, little, little texting that uh, people are stumped on this one. Whoa. Yes, it, it's a bit way. obscure. I, I mean, it's like, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. So uh, let, let, I don't let's know if you want to give some hints or I'll leave it to you. Uh, we don't okay, have a winner okay. yet. I'll say that. A lot of, uh, I want a quick shout out while you're thinking about that. <laughs> Joseph in Canberra. Joseph, I love Canberra. It's actually one of my favorite cities. Uh, uh, you know, I've come down there a lot, uh, or I used to, <laughs> but good, great. Thanks for, for chiming in. So we have a new, uh, uh, another uh, gentleman uh, chiming in from Canberra. Rick, of course, our, our best buddy, Rick. Uh, we've got Rick Saldan. Clive, man, I tell you what, Clive is my one of my peak students right now. He's just doing amazing stuff. So shout out to Clive. 
Uh, let's see, Rick, of course. Uh, lots of sort of chat, chatter, chatter, blah, chatter back and forth between. And Chris Edwards, of course, the beard himself. So, Chris, we will get you a copy. I'll get you an actual physical, or a physical, but a, a proper copy of that performance uh, as well. And, of course, you'll get the download for your own review. So, awesome. Thanks. Yeah, we'll do that very soon. Okay, so listen, so there are no takers yet. So let's let's look at this. We'll we'll go through. So there are four questions. Each question has a single word answer. Taking the first letter from that single word answer, rearranging it to make it something simple. Well, I thought it was pretty simple, actually, but obviously uh, I, I was wrong. So <laughs> let's look at this. <laughs> number one, question number one. So maybe I'll just give the answers away now because we're running out of time. So I'll give the answers away one by one and then you will know the fully answer. Then you take and then the you got to put letter. it together. There you go. Put okay. Together and then do it. So here we go. Here we go. Question number one. Many considered the Bible of modern coin magic to be called what? The answer, of course, is Bobo's. Bobos. Do not write the answer Bobo down. Post it because that's not the question. Right. Question number two. So for your first letter, you should be looking at B. Yes, B. Question number two. What is considered to be the greatest rising card version? Well, of course, that is and it is arguably said. Nobody ever disputes this. It is the Divano rising card. Divano. So your second letter should be D. Question number three. A famous British magician whose performing surname was Bongo. What was his performing Christian name? Well, of course, the answer is Ali. Ali Bongo. So your letter you should now have is A. And question number four. The J. Scott Berry download that we are launching today by the name of Coincentric <laughs> is <laughs> studying which branch of magic. I mean, come on. If you haven't got that, woo -hoo! of course, it is coin magic. <laughs> so you're. Yeah, it's almost too simple. I think you, they, now you go, oh, gee, right, <laughs> overthinking. Although, to be fair, I, my mind went, I'll jump in here just to kind of give credit. Uh, the Devano, I also would say I would top in for the Enverdi. I mean, one of the ones that popped into my mind was the Enverdi card rise, more electronic based. But to be fair, some people could, that could be the answer that, that, that they thought, which seemed okay, like okay. a it orders so that would have given us another a instead of the d but once you've got the the four as you explain yeah all right so let's see oh clive so, hayward dead gets it yeah so, well done so, he's got it. Yeah. so wow guys i'm sorry i thought that, that was cool really i like joseph's answer he's running a whole comedy routine on the chat <laughs> Oh, guys, I'm, I'll take off my hair and humbly apologize. I thought that was going to be so ridiculously simple. You know, A, B, C, D. It, I believe it's Clive. Yeah, Clive was the first one. I'm double checking. Uh, oh, oh, well, no, we got Rick, too. Oh, dear. I'm trying to see <laughs> how fast. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll fast. give away. Hold on. I'm trying to see which one came in first. Unfortunately, with the delay, two posted I like identical time. So I'm happy to get to share the prize between uh, Rick Saldan and Clive. Uh, uh, excuse me. Because there's no me, way. I mean, on the me. Facebook, they both say one minute ago on my feed. So look, right, so we got two winners. I'm happy to call it two winners here. Well, you said share the prize. So the question I need to ask you, Jay, is that the video is 90 minutes <laughs> long. Get half of it. <laughs> You just, yeah. well, I'll just do an edited version, but they'll have to get together to watch the whole thing. <laughs> Can't we chop 10 minutes out of here and everything else? Especially yes. that Rick. That Rick, he's a dodgy dude. His posts, you know. <laughs> I got my eye on him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking, Rick. Fantastic. Well, congratulations to both of you. Um, yeah. And I do apologize to everybody else for making that cryptic. I didn't think it was that cryptic. Considering the last one, which was way harder. <laughs>
and uh, a few people got that. So uh, yeah, I guess I guess there's a little bit of a um, <laughs> discrepancy in answers there, which might have thrown a spanner in the work. So anyway, sorry about that. I but think it's, it's which side fun. of the pond you were on, because Devano clearly is from the British side. And the Anverdi isn't Anverdi. He's from. He was the. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll, we'll keep rolling on. We got there in the in the end. Look, like that's it's a live show. We we're, we're making it up on the fly. Everyone's having fun on the chat, so that's the main thing. Cool. So, what else you got for us today? Well, basically, what I do want to. I'm just going to say it again. If you did not win the competition, um, commiserations. But don't worry. <laughs> Head over to devillmagic.net at any time in the next, well, basically the next 20 hours, I suppose, because tomorrow morning, China time, 9, 9 a.m., which is two hours back from right now. It's 11 o'clock in, in the morning here, China time now. Uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, we will officially launch Coincentric. It will be available for purchase from devillmagic.net. If you are a registered mail shot user, you will receive a mail, an email tomorrow morning around nine ish and you will get a coupon code for 25% discount. So if you're not a mail shop member, get over there in the next 20 hours and sign up and then you will be. And then check your mailbox tomorrow morning and uh, use that code. Um, so pretty much, we're, we're, we're kind of way over time now. So uh, um, Jay, do, have you got any final things to chit chat about today? Look, I think it was great. This was, uh, um, first off, I'm glad you had fun in spite of the challenges. Again, I, I not only commiserate, but I've been there. And I, I thought that was well, very professional of you to sort of take a challenging situation and make the best of it. But Hang on, what are we talking about you, now? You the got game? out, you did your job, you created some smiles, impressed oh. enough people. 200,000 Facebook or uh, social media you know, hits alone. That's uh, certainly nothing to, to uh, sniff about, so to speak. Uh, but you made it home safe. Main thing oh, is... Yeah. You uh, you made it home safe. You know, good to see you back. We've got yes. uh, something just, just yeah, we're the, we're launching Coincentric. We're going to be in full full sort of promotion on that. I'll get this new video out. Gene and we'll be pushing the Gene out. There's another routine on it called uh, Coincidence with a coin and wand, which a complete another world premiere. So that will also be pushing uh, on over the next few days on Facebook and elsewhere. Um, let's see. Oh, and then we're jumping immediately into the, the wonder workshop download, turning right over. And this is all the magical crafts. This is me putting, uh, again, many, many years of, uh, magical craft items into a single digital download. Uh, and the good thing about this, this is for everyone. Then this is this is totally a muggle friendly download. You could buy it, you could get it for yourself. You'd wealth of information for any performer from the practical walk around strolling. Instead of animal balloons, you've got an arsenal of things that don't pop that create the same level of wonder. But mm. even for grandkids and kids and say it's their magical craft and how to turn yeah. the most basic items into, you know, magical giveaways and Christmas ornaments and, you know, things to put into stocking stuffers and Christmas cards. Send out the Christmas card with a couple little magical craft things. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So that, that's on the burner coming right up on immediate by I'll take a couple of weeks to switch, kind of shift and take a breath over the weekend. But we're going immediately. Uh, the deadline is from that. Well, two weeks from now, we'll have the next digital download uh, hot off the presses. So keep an eye on that one. Now, funnily enough, next week, next week, hopefully, if uh, if time constraints get through, I've actually because we've been so busy with your new products that I've actually been missing mine. I've got a, I've got the second version of Solitaire Crossing uh, card slice gimmick uh, construction video coming out very soon as well. Perfect. Um, so that's going to be nice. Um, funnily enough, talking of, very quickly talking about your the arts and crafts video, so the things I can say. With 100% agreement that over the years, as a balloon maker as well as magician, um, a lot of the time I'd end up doing balloons in, in walk around, close up situations. Sometimes you want something different and something years and years ago, I learned some very, I won't say I'm an expert in it by any stretch of the imagination, but I learned a few fun origami pieces. And I have Gino money and I used to, 
fold those into certain things and wow, it's awesome. In a walkabout environment when you want something different, it is yeah. so, so well received. So I'm looking forward to some of the stuff because I know the stuff you've got on that project and uh, I know some of it, but I also know some of it you've never released before. So I'm looking forward to that myself. I really am. Uh, Outstanding. Especially with Christmas coming up. So uh, it's, uh, it's, an, it's an awesome thing. So, uh, yeah. So, well, that about wraps things up for me. I had a couple more things, but we are going way over time. So I'll hold them back until next time. Fantastic. Okay, great to see you, Gino. I will drop you out. Say our adieus, our alohas. Our final Thanks, alohas. You'll so likely I'm never see me in this shirt again. I just thought I'd mess with your head. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else's. <laughs> it is. It really is. Yeah, thanks ever so much. Even I'm watching the, the monitor. I'm just like, turn down the pink. <laughs> Thank you so much for the continued support, everybody. And uh, I, I will, I'll see you next week on another Geno Mania, uh, unless okay. some weird something happens. i got a fun gig tonight, by the way, just finishing. Does anybody out there, you know that pop artist, the American pop artist by the name of Ron English? Apparently he's done album covers and all sorts of stuff. Well, yeah. he's got a gallery launch over here tonight, and uh, yeah, well, I'm 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 the turn, as it were. You're I'm the guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. From the the food courts to the fancy art galleries. That's that's showbiz, isn't it? Oh yeah. You know. Hell, <laughs> swillers. Oh, darling, darling. Oh, oh my. Super. Oh yeah. Red. Oh, car crash. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All you, right, buddy. Cheers, Bye. mate. We'll see you. All right, down the road, my friend. And let's see, that's it. Thank you all. We got two winners on that. We'll sort out getting you the copy as soon as that's released. Congratulations, Clive. Congratulations, Rick. Uh, boy, it sure is fun. I tell you what, <laughs> I never laugh on any. Uh, we, Gino and I were just the comedy duo. Uh, we, we like this idea that we're going to do an Academy of Illusions panto. Uh, I don't know if we're going to make it this year because <laughs> so many other projects. But just to think about it, it's very funny, you know, where I could be the knight in shining armor and Gino could be Rapunzel with the long golden locks. Oh, Jay's got to marry, save me. <laughs> I've come to save the day. <laughs> anyway. We started off with Monty Python. We ended up with the absurd concept of a, a, of a magical panto, a virtual, virtual panto. What more do you want? You, you got your money's worth, that's for sure. So cheers, everyone. We'll be available chatting on kind of across Facebook uh, right away. So best wishes. Keep it up. Remember, it's all about that magic music and wonder make sure i grab the right mouse so i click the right buttons here and get my that should be up and teching my sound i'm running tech as well as most of you know and we're out of here